What are DEB diagnosis, treatment, and prevention? 1. What kinds of tests are used to diagnose tuberculosis? The interferon gamma release assay and the Mantu tuberculin skin test DST, are the two types of screening tests for DB, IGRA. A tiny amount of a substance known as purified protein derivative PPD, will be injected under the skin of your forearm by a medical professional for the TST. You must return to the doctor or other healthcare professional after two to three days so they can examine the injection site. A medical professional will take blood and send the sample to the lab for the IGRA. 2. How do I know if I should get tested for tuberculosis? You might want to have a TB test if A. You live or work in a place where there is a high risk of harm, like a prison, hospice, nursing home, shelter, or healthcare facility. B. You are employed by a mycobacteriology lab. C. You've had contact with someone who is known to have or is suspected of having tuberculosis. D. Because of a compromised immune system, your body has a low level of disease resistance. E. You have symptoms and believe you may already have TB disease. F. You were born or resided in a region where tuberculosis TB, is a common disease, such as Latin America, the Caribbean, Africa, Asia, Eastern Europe, or Russia. G. You've injected illicit substances. H. Your doctor suggests getting tested. Other people who are susceptible to TB include A. Immune systems that are immature or compromised, such as those of infants and children. B. Individuals suffering from diabetes, kidney disease, or other chronic, long-term, illnesses. C. Individuals who have had organ transplants. D. Individuals receiving chemotherapy for cancer or other forms of immune system disorders treatments. E. Incidence rates for minorities in the United States are higher than those for whites. 3. How is tuberculosis treated? DB infection and disease are treated with these drugs. A. Isoniazid. B. Rifampin. C. Othambutol. D. Pyrazinamide. E. Rifapentine. If you don't take the full dose of the medication your doctor recommends, not all of the bacteria will be eliminated. You will be required to take these medications for the duration specified by your doctor, which may be up to 9 months. Some TB strains have developed drug resistance. It's very important, and it's likely that your doctor will treat your TB with more than one medication. It's crucial to follow your prescription exactly. 4. What can you do to prevent the spreading of tuberculosis? Usually, it takes a long time of contact with someone who has active TB before you become infected. Following recommendations for preventing infections, such as A. Washing your hands frequently and thoroughly B. Covering your mouth when you cough or cough into your elbow C. Avoiding direct interaction with others D. Ensuring that you correctly take all of your medications E. Not going back to work or school until your doctor has given the all clear. The use of proper personal protective equipment and adequate ventilation are the two most crucial hospital safety precautions to prevent the spread of DB. 5. Is there a vaccine to prevent tuberculosis? A TB vaccine known as Bacillus colometcarin is utilized in some nations, but not the United States BCG. Children in nations with high TB prevalence are typically given the vaccine to protect against meningitis and military tuberculosis, a serious form of TB. The vaccine might reduce the precision of TB skin tests, 